Hey guys, hey, Brandon Simpson here with you today. And uh, what I want to explore today with you is, you know, how do you develop your vision for your home business? If you caught yesterday's video or blog post, either way, uh, you saw we were talking about creating your vision. And we talked about, you know, while a lot of people just start with creating a vision, they have a why that makes them cry, right? You know that. Or they have written goals. But honestly, folks, that's just not enough. It's a good starting point. But until that vision pulls you there, you know, you're not the, writing something down. It's just it's just not enough. So today we want to talk into develop, get into a little more development of your vision. But the first thing you got to do is you got to clean out all the stuff that's holding you back. As we mentioned yesterday, if you've been stuck for some place in your life or some goal that you're trying to hit, and you just can't seem to get over it. There's something there that's holding you back. And today I want to explore a little bit of the non-serving statements that you may be saying to yourself. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've been there many, many times and I still struggle with some of these. The if I. So if I said, if I only had enough money, if I only had the resources this guy has, if I only had enough time. Well, there's never going to be a perfect time to build a business. Uh, there's going to always seem to be a lack of something. The thing is, is you just got to, you know, make that the big part of your business and then fill in the holes around it. That's what you got to do. So, you know, you hear a lot of people saying that, well, those statements aren't serving them well. Or, you know, easy for them to say, you know, that's another statement that people make all the time. Oh, well, they're already successful. Or, uh, oh, they were born, they, you know, they had some great parents or they had, you know, look at all the money that they've got. Of course, they're where they are. But a lot of times the majority, the people don't see all that hard work and behind the scenes stuff that they had to put into it to get there. Or sometimes we may use a condition or, um, you know, and, and thankfully I've been fairly healthy most of my life. You know, some people are not, but, and I feel for those people, but you know, there's other people that have still built a business despite, you know, and I work with closely with, with quite a few people that, that do that despite, or they had a bad childhood and, or, you know, whatever the case may be, they were born into a bad neighborhood. They had some challenges, you know, it wasn't a very good environment. You know, all this is going on and everybody that you see, you know, is faced with a lot of challenges. But what I realize is that a lot of people, you know, you know, are born into worse situations that we are, and we don't have to look very far to figure that out. So I hope some of that hits home with you a little bit today. So guys, that's my message for you today. And uh, if you want to explore this a little bit further, you can check out, uh, you may already be on my blog post, but if not, check out winwithbrandonsimpson.com. That'll give you the full, uh, the full blog post about it. And uh, also, uh, if you're still needing more leads, more sales for your business, uh, just having uh, trouble getting recruits, whatever the case may be, uh, check out my five-step formula there on winwithbrandonsimpson.com, and then I'll get you all the resources, get you a great start there, and it's absolutely free. So thanks, guys, for being with us today, and I uh, hope